So hello everyone. Uh, I'm Misha Manahil, and I am from the group rega uh, regarding human rights. And uh, today uh, I'm here with Aisha Jamil, who's going to give us a brief interview about important human rights. Uh, I thank you, Aisha, for being here. Could you please introduce yourself? Um, hey everyone, I'm Aisha Jamil and I'm 19 years old. I'm from Pakistan and I'm currently studying in a university. Also, thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor. No problem. So Aisha, I'm going to ask you a few simple questions. Uh, you just have to give your personal opinion. Uh, like it's just like a open space. You can get uh, like any opinion you want. So my first question to you would be, um, what are some of the basic human rights you know about? Um, I actually don't know about a lot. Um, I just know some. So like, first of all, all human beings are free and they're equal. They can do whatever they want. Secondly, no slavery. And thirdly, there shouldn't be any torture or inhumane treatment towards any human being. Um, they should also, they also have a right to be treated fairly by the court and they also have a right to trial. Uh, yes, that's a very good answer. Thank you, Aisha. Now I'm gonna ask you, um, like in this era in the 21st century, there's a lot of things which are just trends and others are like actual problems, like which are people are concerned about. So in your opinion, is spreading awareness on human rights an actual problem or is it just like a trend people do to just become popular and to look nice? Um, I actually think it's an actual problem because like, even I don't know my, all, all my basic human rights and I'm sure most of pe most people don't even know them as well. So um, because we're like so busy in our daily lives that we aren't even aware of our basic human rights. So yeah, I'm just gonna agree with that it's an actual problem. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good thing to know. Um, and like in your opinion, what's an effective way to spread awareness like in this time of internet and social media, like what could be a, like a good way to get it into people's mind that human rights are an actual problem? Um, I actually think we should, uh, you guys should make Instagram pages and YouTube channels because like everyone uses them and there's like a higher chance of success that way. You can also host some educational events or any, or organize some uh, awareness programs regarding this. Yes, so like during COVID-19, like people have had webinars and um, like uh, Zoom meetings and Skype meetings. So do you think those have been effective or not? Yeah, that's actually much better because like, like the whole population is online so like that's just way easier and you're gonna have a higher chance of actually spreading the rights yes and um so now like here's like some questions i'd like to ask about like specific people so um prisoners of war like today you have like refugee crisis and like your border war so do you think like prisoners of war are treated fairly like in the circumstances they are or like, are they treated with harshness and cruelty? Um, I don't think so. I mean, like they probably have to go through like inhumane torture, which is definitely against our human rights. And I'm against it. Uh, like, you know, like even religions promote uh, fairness with these people. So what would you say like specifically, what uh, like specific religion would you say really um, outlines the rights of prisoners of war? Um, obviously some, they like tell us to treat everyone equally and fairly and that no one ha like we don't have the right to treat others unfairly or treat them with harshness and cruelty that's that's not fair yeah and um so in this era you have like a lot of people come out as like like it as a part of the lgbtq plus community so uh are they treated like fairly like in like the us and uk they're like a very they're treated well, but what do you think about developing countries, like backward countries, like here and like in Pakistan or India or like very religious and like very um, close minded countries? What do you think how these people are treated from the LGBTQ plus community? They're treated like super unfairly. Like I recently saw a video where like one guy was being brutally beaten just because he was gay. And like he was begging in the name of Allah to like stop this torture, but no one would listen to him. And that makes me furious. Like we have no right to treat others, anyone, anyone in this way. Um, many people also hate because, which is like a K-pop group because they think that they're gay. Like you have no right to hate someone, anyone, whether they're a member of LGBT, Q plus community or not. That's just not fair. 
yeah it is very unfair and um like these days you have like feminists like people like women who are like we're going to have women like get their rights so like in countries where women are treated harshly like do you think these women who are feminists are getting their voices there i don't think so i mean like women are being treated unfairly and they're considered like incompetent uh, incompetent and that like men are much better which is again not fair and what would you think about like issues like birth control or like like these issues like early marriages do you think this also is like an unfair treatment towards the female community yeah obviously i mean like we females like um if i talk for myself i don't want to marry i don't want an early marriage i don't want to marry right i just want to focus on my career i want to be financially financially stable i just want to be stable on my own without anyone's help i think I I just don't want to be forced into some absolute nonsense. Yeah, that's true. Like women these days are also fighting to be free and independent. Um I feel like one thing I have to ask you, something which is so concerning these days which is all over Twitter, all over the internet is Asian rights. Now in Asian rights you have the all of Asia which people don't really know about but like countries like in southern asia are also part of asia like afghanistan you have pakistan you have india all these like places aren't considered part of asia but what would you say for those people who don't understand that indian people and like people of color and like muslims or hindus or jews aren't considered as a part of the asian community when they are in born in the asian region so what would you say about those rights I mean they're being treated unfairly like um there was uh, like back in the day uh, there were like this car company right so like for example Ford they were not doing really well right so um there were like many, many Japanese cars because like they were like cheaper so what happened that the economy of the like US and all that kind of collapsed because like their cars weren't doing that well and they weren't making a lot right so what happened was that um one like it's an incident that happened back in the day so basically two white dudes were brutally murdered a jap uh, a chinese man winston chin there are many documentaries um winston chin uh, who killed winston chin or winston who right so they basically killed him thinking that he was japanese but he's actually chinese so like many people don't understand this they think that if he if this guy is japanese um like they they basically just think that they all the asians look the same which is not true everyone has a different culture identity religion and we must learn to differentiate them and treat them fairly because we don't have any right to treat them unfairly that that's very interesting i didn't actually wasn't aware of that incident Thank you for informing me yeah. about it. Trees, uh, you can actually check out these documentaries like Winston Who or Who Killed Winston Chen. It's like actually pretty famous and like I recently just got to know about it. So yeah. Wow, that's interesting and very sad to hear about it. Uh so like my final question to you would be um if you were a, a, like a humanitarian, if you had to fight for people people regardless of how what they think of you, would you risk your life, your career, your whole personality just to get these people a voice or would you not I definitely would I mean if I just have to lay down my life so that everyone else is being treated fairly I definitely would I mean like that's just amazing that's like such a great contribution and like if everyone just understands the importance of treating everyone fairly just because like I give up my life then sure I'm obviously I'm going to do it that's a very good thought because a lot of people think that it's not like a good thing to like risk your own life to um save others and i really appreciate your time your thinking uh thank you so much for coming here and um that would be all thank you so much aisha no thank you so much um thank you for having me here it's honestly such a pleasure to be here Thank you so much. Uh, I hope everyone learned something from this interview. And uh, with that, I'll just say bye. Uh, I hope you check out other um, videos of us on Instagram as well. Um, so that will be all. Thank you.